As you know, the election results are, are in. Um, and to put it mildly, it ain't pretty. Trump won the battlegrounds, uh, seven, seven battlegrounds and 20 some odd others, um, and the Electoral College. And he got a little bit more in the Electoral College than what uh, President Biden got in 2020. The GOP won the Senate and the House. Senate and the House. We found out about the House. I think Dante told us on Wednesday night. He said, no, you got that wrong, Joe. They won, they won the House. Um, it appears uh, that Trump will win the popular vote by about one and a half percent. Um, that's the picture so far. And, and while it is very challenging, um, it is not, and I want to underline not, the national realignment and move to the right that the talking heads have been crowing about, and I mean crowing about for the last week. Ruling class, sections of it, may have moved sharply to the right, the federal government will most definitely move far to the right, uh, but the majority of the American people, no, um, we're, not, we're not buying that. One and a half percent is one and a half percent. You know, I was trying to think about the best way to formulate that uh, as we were preparing the report the other day. And uh, just by chance, a comrade from Wisconsin, comrade Michael, what's his name, John Hop, Hop, uh, made a comment on my Facebook page in relation to a post I made, and, and uh, he summed it up very nicely. Michael said, uh, Trump won on the margins. Or you could say Harris lost on the margins, you know? This was an election won and lost on the margins. Um, in either case, no resounding mandate, um, no major uh, repudiation of abortion rights, uh, civil rights, LGBTQ rights, and other equality issues. Um, being woke ain't broke. <laughs>